let's talk about why you're single coming from a girl who's single by choice yes by choice okay people might not believe me but yes by choice i'm eating baklava delicious love this stuff especially with a nice cup of tea mm. also i'm sick i'm very congested okay why you're single me i'm single thank god <laughs> would i love to meet the love of my life yeah right now mm -mm. i don't think i'm ready for them i don't know if they're ready for me i feel like there are phases of our life in which we just need to grow and evolve get to know ourselves and date other people i hear a lot of people that are in their 30s 40s 50s talking about everybody should stay single in their 20s single doesn't mean you don't talk to anybody you can go on dates go on dating apps have great sex have terrible sex have great dates have terrible dates doesn't mean you're you're not single you can be in a four-month situationship with the same person and still be single and i know a lot of us have been doing that sorry i don't want to lump myself in with you guys a lot of you guys have been doing that and you're like i'm tired i just want the love of my life already and you're like why why haven't they come along yet and there are a few reasons for that spiritually you know i like to say that you have a soul contract with someone and life is playing itself out until the universe is ready to bring you two together sometimes it can be as simple as you're not in the right frequency sometimes you could just not be ready for them sometimes you're not putting yourself out there enough so there are a few reasons and i'm going to talk about top five reasons why you might be single and i might, I might throw some bonus ones in there first of all you are not going to meet the love of your life in your motherfucking bedroom okay bitch you're not <laughs> sorry i don't know what just came over me it's not gonna happen you talk about oh like why haven't i found the one and then but you don't leave your house not only do you not leave your house when you do leave the house are you putting yourself in the right rooms what kind of person do you want to date i understand that socializing at a bar and a club is very easy it is you're drinking, you're more outgoing, there's good looking people all around that are ready to have conversations. It's easy. But the type of partner that you want, are they the kind of person that's going to frequent at the club? I understand that that could be, you know, a one-off for your future partner. Maybe they're just at the club that night for a friend's birthday. Who knows? Okay? There are situations in which that happens. My friend has been with her boyfriend for five years and they met at the club. It could happen that way. However, what kind of lifestyle do you want this person to have? What kind of lifestyle do you want to have? Align yourself to that. I'll give you an example. I like creative people. I like people who have passion for something. I like people who read. I like people with money, even though my dating history says otherwise. I like people with hobbies. I like people who have friends. So if I'm trying to align myself with the energy of my future partner, I'm going to put myself in rooms that I think this person will be or that I hope to be in with them in the future. For example, I want to date a black man. I want my future partner to be black. It's just something that's important for me. I would love for my future children to have a black parent. If I fall in love with someone who is not black, it is what it is. Love is love and I'll go for it. However, ideally, I would love my partner to be black. So, Toronto, we have some like black industry nights in which they bring a bunch of black creatives together in one room. This is a great place to meet a partner Ooh, volunteering i would love a person who's very wholesome who cares about the community a volunteer space maybe a church depending on the church maybe an art gallery in a nice area in toronto we have a bougie neighborhood called yorkville if i go to an art gallery in yorkville it's probably creative artist type characters who have money hanging out at this said art gallery maybe a library maybe a cafe that sells books, maybe a bookstore, maybe a spiritual shop. These are the kind of places that my future partner, I would hope for them to hang out in or I would hope to go with them too. So put yourself in the right rooms and get out of your house. For God's sake, leave the house. Number two, you could be single because you're not ready for your future partner. There was a point about seven months ago that I felt so healed from my breakup, which happened like, Oh my god so long ago now going on two years ago um i felt so healed and i was like i'm ready like i'd already dated i'd already like had fun with people i'd already done all that and i was like i'm ready i'm ready and i kind of put myself out there for like three weeks and then i was like i'm not ready because i don't have what i want yet like my own personal goals i feel like of course we can be a work in progress when we meet our future partner however 
I think that we should be on the path to what we want. So what I mean by that, I hadn't built up a solid work ethic yet, okay? I hadn't built a routine. I'm not where I want to be emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially. And I'm also not fully on the right path to get there yet. Like something could, let's say a wave of depression hits me, it could throw me all the way the fuck off, right? I want to be at a place in which I'm on the path or I am where I want to be really close to whatever before I let some person come up in my life and distract me because I like to spend time with someone a lot when I'm first getting to know them quality time is so important to me I like getting to know someone you know of course common sense uh, so I feel like if I were to meet my future partner right now it would be so distracting for me and um, I would love to say that it wouldn't affect my own personal goals, but it probably would. For example, my black glove I just fell. Maybe if I was posting three times a week on YouTube, I started dating someone, I'm posting once every two weeks. I don't want that. I want to make sure that I'm ready. So what I'm trying to say is the reason why you might be single is because you're not ready. Are your student loans paid off? Do you have the job of your dreams yet? Did you get that dream internship that you've been waiting for? Are you finished school? No? Are these things that are important to you? Yeah? Whatever it is to you, might not be any of those examples, but it might be something else to you. Focus on that. Focus on that. Your person will come, but if you're not ready, maybe the universe or God knows that if that person comes along right now, it'll steer you off the path that you're meant to be on. So, be patient and wait for it to come. Figure yourself out, focus on yourself. When you're ready and when you're on the right path, they'll come. And I know there are some of you that have the job of your dreams, have the money, have your dream place, have a cute little dog or whatever, and all that's missing is your partner. And I understand that. Some of you are ready. They're coming, they're coming. Maybe there's something else in your life that's just not ready for them yet. Maybe emotionally you're still healing Maybe you need more self-awareness. Maybe you need better communication skills and some friend that you're gonna meet in a week and you're gonna have a friendship breakup within a year is gonna teach you so much, is gonna prepare you for the love of your life. Maybe you need to date five assholes before you appreciate your future partner. Who knows what the reason is, but there's gotta be something. So just trust that there's reasoning behind it and behind the delay and then it's coming. Just trust divine timing. Divine always knows what's best. Number three, another reason why you might be single is because you're not aligning yourself to the energy of someone who's ready for a relationship. Okay, I remember the secret. She was talking about how she wants a husband so bad, but she was parking her car in the middle of the driveway. There was no space for another car. She was sleeping in the middle of the bed. There's no space for someone on the other side of her bed. This might have been a man. I don't remember. If you read The Secret, you know what I'm talking about. There was pictures of single people, sad, lonely people all over the wall. So they started sleeping on the left side of the bed, for example, keeping space for another body. They started parking on one side of the driveway, making space for another car. They changed the photos on the walls to happier imagery, bringing in that energy, and eventually met the partner of their dreams. You need to align yourself. Make some space in your closet for another person's clothes. Make some space on your driveway. Maybe like buy a second toothbrush and look at it and pretend that it's your partner's toothbrush or something like that. Make room for it. Make room for what you want. Make space for them in your life. Wait for them. Not like a desperate waiting for you by the door like a dog. More of like a, yeah, I'll wait for you. I'm patient. I'll live my life and I'll wait for you. Number four, you might be single simply because of the language that you're choosing to use in your everyday life. For example, Oh, when am I gonna meet my person? Like, I'm never gonna meet them. Oh my god, I'm that single friend. I'm the one that's always single. Like, oh my god, like all my friends have boyfriends and like I don't have one. And then, 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 then. not with that fucking attitude. Watch what you say. Words are powerful. You don't need to say, oh, my dream partner is on their way every hour, but you definitely don't need to like talk down on the situation. When you speak, the universe listens. So, Watch what you say. Words are very powerful. Be careful what you speak into existence when you're like, oh, I'm always single. Like, oh my god, I'm this. Like, I'm never gonna meet them. Like, the, the universe is gonna be like, okay, cool, bitch. Asking you shall receive. Always single? 
there you go always single start changing your dialogue say things like oh i'm single right now i'm single for now my partner's on their way i don't know where they are yet but they're on their way or i'm so excited to meet my future partner not oh, when am i gonna meet them change it to i'm so excited to meet them i can't wait to meet them one day i can't wait easy just flip the narrative if you can't be that optimistic and positive and it makes you cringe cool you don't have to do it just don't say anything then just don't <laughs> don't say shit another thing like that comes with that type of energy is be careful how you perceive content online like let's say you watch like a lot of couples channels or celebrity couples or tiktok videos of just like those stupid couples not sorry that's kind of rude but like you know the fake tiktok pranks and stuff those things are so stupid they literally i just cringe so much um let's say you really consume that content heavily right be careful how you're perceiving it are you watching it and like oh i want that oh god like ugh. I just opened the app. You know when you see the comments and they're like, oh, anybody know where the nearest bridge is so I can jump off it? Like, I don't think those are that funny. Like, maybe I'll like chuckle at it for a second because like, this is ridiculous, but I don't really think it's that funny. I think that it should be more of like a, oh, their love is sweet. I hope I have that one day. I can't wait to have that one day. Don't watch it with envy and jealous eyes. This is why people put evil eye on their bios and things like that because when you're watching them with jealousy like you're giving them your bad energy too and the universe will reflect that back to you you're like a mirror right so when you watch them and you're like ugh, disgusting i can't stand their love in like a petty way like the universe is going to take that energy and give it right back to you so be careful how you perceive content number five maybe you're just not ready like have you ever asked yourself that question i'm not talking um financially or can you support yourself or do you have your own place or do you have time for them more just like how's your heart <laughs> how are your communication skills are you defensive are you self-aware do you avoid conflict these are things that you're not just going to magically get better at just because you're dating someone i know people that you know they get into fights with their friends and they have terrible communication they get super defensive blah, blah, blah. and it's like you bring that into a relationship and you guys are going to fight you guys are gonna fight and it's not gonna be good you gotta work on these things before you get with that person obviously you're not gonna be perfect and there are things that you're gonna have to work through with them and that's part of being in a relationship but when i look back to my last relationship i do not regret it of course i wasn't ready i didn't know myself at all i didn't even know myself enough to understand that when somebody was telling me i was a whole bunch of terrible things i didn't even know how to decipher what he was saying versus the truth and my truth and who i was right because i didn't know myself i wasn't ready i didn't know how to conduct myself in an argument and speak with confidence i didn't know how to be in a relationship and these are things that you can learn through dating through new friendships through journaling through watching documentaries or self-help videos or reading self-help books like do you know yourself do you like yourself how much do you like yourself is your heart ready for this are you okay alone because if you're not you're gonna build some codependency on that person i think that in order to feel ready for a relationship, for me personally at least, I feel like I have to get to a point where I kind of feel like I'm already getting to where it's like, I need to really like myself enough to know what I want and what I don't want and see it clearly to know the red flags early on and be able to walk away. And it also has to be like, I have to like you, not like better than I like myself, but I have to love you enough. I have to love you almost as much as I love myself to sacrifice my own solo time to be with you and to spend time with you because i really enjoy spending time by myself so it's like i have to enjoy you enough to like cut that in half cut that time in half um that's part of it but also like there's so many other factors of like why you should be ready for a relationship and when which i don't feel like i'm there yet understanding yourself enough and if if you're not there yet if you can't answer these questions then you're probably not ready and that's probably why you're single and that's okay that is okay. It doesn't mean you're going to spend an eternity or a lifetime single. It just means for now, this is the situation. Lean into it. Figure out why you're in this position and what you can do to elevate yourself so that you can be ready. And don't rush yourself. You might meet someone along the way while you're still working on yourself. Start off the relationship slow. Be friends. Hang out. Date. Nobody says you need to get married and settle down right away. Like You can still date people that you see a lot of potential in. Just because you feel like you're not ready doesn't mean you're not. But understand the pace that you need to go at when you do meet this person. And just know you will meet the person. But also make peace with the fact that you might not. As crazy as that sounds. Like, I want to make peace with, I might be single for the rest of my life. And when I can accept that 
fully, then I feel like I'll be so powerful. And if you can get to that point, I feel like you'll be very powerful as well. So yeah, good luck. I believe in you. I think we'll all meet our twin flame soulmate of our dreams eventually, but all in divine timing. Trust and believe. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you resonated, if you have any arguments to what I said, if you have any opinions to what I said, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up because it takes you half a second and it helps me out so much. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, please and thank you. I ask nicely, please. Okay, thanks. Anyways, I will see you in the next video and I am going to go make some pasta. See you next time. Bye.